la última semana yo no doy clases, pero bueno, decidí pasar esta clase del viernes para el lunes para que hagamos una clasecita final, ¿ok? So, well, the topic that we have for today is short stories or how to tell an anecdote, right? So that is what we're going to watch on this video, en este video. Nos van a dar las expresiones ahí. Yo quiero que por favor tomen nota. I want you to take notes of the expressions that might be useful. De las expresiones que pueden ser útiles cuando estamos contando una anécdota o una historia. ¿Vale? Ok. Okay, so which expressions did you learn? ¿Qué expresión necesitan volver a ver el video? Si necesitan volver a ver el video, lo vamos a ver. Y vamos parando. Any questions about that? Yes, I know, right? Yeah, it was kind of funny, right? I, I, yeah, I was about to laugh on that one too. <laughs> well, I kind of laughed when he said, like, I need a, teeth, a toothbrush, and I was like, <laughs> see? And then he was preparing food, you know, like, how would you react if you had something similar in your house, like a person or anything like that here, yeah? So, um, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was, right? Yeah. And here it is. <laughs> I know. Now you're going to wash the dishes, you're going to clean the house, and you're going to wash the car. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go over some of the expressions that we might find, okay? Okay. Uh, so let's go over that. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, we, can, we have the expression that is, there was a girl, right? 
Eh, había una chica. Si yo estoy hablando de un perro, entonces diría, there was a dog. Si era, estoy hablando de un banco, there was a bank. Eh, un gerente, there was a manager. Un um, estudiante, there was a student. ¿sí? Ahí cambiaría dependiendo de la persona a la que me quiera referir. This is, her name was Emma, right? And then we say like, they talk a little bit about the atmosphere, right? It was a cold and dark night and it was raining, yeah? So they describe uh, what was happening here, yes? Um, brillando sol, entonces it was shining or the sun was shining, right? Okay. A thief came into Emma's house. Came into. Entonces ahí tenemos expresiones que hemos visto como de, de hablar para hablar del pasado, ¿no? Came into. Si yo digo llegó, arrived. Pero claro, eh, también se dice broke into para decir que entró sin permiso, ¿no? Y, o sea, cuando alguien entra a su casa sin permiso es break into, ¿right? He wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. Well, when you say Emma's toothbrush, no, no están diciendo a toothbrush. It could be any toothbrush, right? Uh, a spare toothbrush, como uno adicional. They're saying they wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. That sounds uh, weird, right? Yeah. Entonces hay unas acciones que son cortas, ¿no? He went into the kitchen first. El first también nos ayuda a... Ay, sí, no ya da la entrada, Inés. Sorry, Inés. ¿Qué? Okay. Dice, the thief went into the kitchen first. Entonces, first nos da una secuencia, right? He felt hungry. So remember the pronunciation of this word, he decided to eat. So this is a sequence of events, right? A esto le decimos como una secuencia de eventos, ¿no? Primero hizo esto, después hizo esto, entonces empezó a hacer esto. Entonces son hizo, comió, preparó, empezó a preparar, right? Uh, I have a question, Nancy, yes? Yeah, because after midnight is morning, kind of, I guess that is why they say breakfast, but not necessarily breakfast, it depends on, uh, usually breakfast is the first meal you eat, yeah, so that is breakfast, yeah, <laughs> so it was, it was, it was after midnight, so probably that is why they are talking about breakfast. But you can say then he started to prepare a meal, right, for himself. Yes, if you don't want to go into that confusion. And probably because of the kind of food that he's preparing, like eggs, it looks like eggs or anything, like something that is breakfast, yeah. Entonces hay muchas acciones que son secuenciales, ¿no? Entonces ella se despertó, so she woke up. En toda esta secuencia uno dice hizo, llamó, comió, preparó, escuchó.
ella vio al ladrón, él estaba comiendo. Entonces, miren que aquí ya cambia un poco la acción. He was having breakfast. Cuando describimos algo que es, que es como progresivo, ¿no? Estaba pasando, o algo muy específico, algo en particular, como estaba abriendo la nevera, eh, sí, es, estaba haciendo algo, entonces decimos was, usamos el was or where, y decimos having breakfast, opening the, the fridge, he was opening the door when she saw him, right? Eh, cuando él estaba abriendo la puerta, cuando ella lo vio. Entonces es como que él estaba haciendo algo y ella lo interrumpió. Entonces hay una, hay una actividad que está dándose y algo sucede y quiebra esa actividad, ¿sí? Okay, and they cried, right? And this is a question that, what the hell are you doing here, right? In my house, okay? Uh, of course, it's an expression that it might be because she's angry. So, what the hell? Como, que carajos, o que demonios, o que, okay? <laughs> Such a friendly thief, you know, like he justifies himself, like I just need this and I'm hungry, so don't don't be bad don't be mad at me. Right? Yeah. And this is like the conclusion, right? What she said and okay. And at the end they were or they will they were all happy, right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of cynical, yeah? He is kind of cynical. It's <laughs> I know. I know, I know. Okay. So, well, now let's let's move on to look at some of the expressions that we might learn. Okay. So, we have, well, when we're telling a story, the idea is that you have like a kind of a structure, no? Pueden tener una especie de estructura cuando contamos una historia, ¿cierto? Entonces, the introduction, you can have the introduction, right? Uh, the beginning, yes. And you can have story and you can have the end. Sí, es como la parte más básica de contar una historia, ¿no? Introduction, beginning, story and the end, yes. Entonces aquí en introduction gives some background, uh, why people will find it interesting, o simplemente la atmósfera, ¿no? Quién es la persona que está ahí, como cuando decían, ahí there was a girl, right? Uh, to explain how the story started, explicar cómo empezó, ¿no? She was sleeping, ella estaba durmiendo, and the, the thief came in, right? Then you need to tell the main events in order, ya que viene la parte secuencial, la que estábamos viendo donde se le entró, se quería probar esto, eh, empezó a hacer comida, tenía hambre, ¿sí? hizo ruido, la despertó, bueno, ella se asustó, fue a la cocina, eh, lo sorprendió, bueno, si ¿sí? toda esta secuencia es esa parte de main events in order, right? It's like a sequence of events in order, yes? And the end, to make a final comment about the story or how things are now, yes? What was the final comment about the story that we just watched? Yeah, good. Yeah. They were all happy. dancing, yeah. What a beautiful ending. <laughs> For a thief, right? Yeah. So here we have some phrases. You can look at some phrases, right? We have some phrases. Like in the introduction, we have, you're not going to believe this. Esto es realmente cuando uno lo cuenta, ¿no? Eso le sirve mucho para el video. You're not going to believe this, but... Entonces, no me lo van a creer, pero tal cosa. Did I ever tell you about the time I was? Alguna vez les dije de la vez que yo estaba tal, tal, tal. I'll never forget the time I was. Nunca olvidaré el, la vez que yo estaba, ¿sí? O que otra persona estaba, ¿no? I will never forget the time uh, my grandmother was uh, complaining about... <laughs> This is a funny story, actually. 
I will never forget the time my grandmother was complaining about some shoes, new shoes that she had bought, and uh, she could not find them, right? And uh, my sisters and I used to play with her shoes. And one day we left them on the garbage side so that she didn't see that we were playing with her new shoes, right? And my mother burned the garbage. And nobody saw these new shoes <laughs> when, when my grandmother was complaining about it. And she was asking my mother if she had saw or she had seen these uh, shoes. Um, I went to the garbage place and I saw like the heel, you know, heel. Yo vi el tacón. I saw the red heel of my grandmother's red new shoes that had been burned. Okay. Did you get the story? My grandmother never knew that we burned or that my mother accidentally burned her shoes. But I knew. So I was the one who was playing with these shoes, you know? True story. <laughs> The heel is the con. Okay. Good. Okay. The beginning. Uh, al inicio, entonces dicen, uh, it's quite a few years ago. This was around the time of. Fue, for example, this was around the time of uh, primary school. Para mí, no. And you'll never guess who or where or what. Nunca adivinarás quién, dónde o qué. Podemos usar. Talking of, that reminds me of the time I, como hablando de música, por ejemplo, talking of music, that reminds me of the time I lost my CD, right? And then we will tell the story, and in the story, we will say like, you should have heard or should have seen, es una expresión, es como, debiste haber visto, debiste haber escuchado, escuchado, visto. And then to top it all, y para rematar, esta es una expresión que sirve para decir eso, ¿no? Y para rematar, and then to top it all, uh, entonces lo que sea que sucedió para rematar. And the strange thing was, puedo decir, lo raro fue tal cosa, and the strange thing was, o lo chistoso fue, and the funny thing was, o lo tonto fue, and the stupid thing was, ¿ok? Can you imagine my surprise when? Como se pueden imaginar, lo sorprendía que estaba, oh, mi sorpresa cuando tal cosa. By the time I realized what had happened, en el momento que yo me di cuenta de lo que había pasado, entonces esas son expresiones que pueden usar. Que no tienen que usarlas todas, pero pueden usar algunas de ellas. And in the end, who wants to help me read these expressions, please? I need a person to help me reading. Okay, Nancy. <laughs> yes, good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, like, de todas maneras, ¿no? Esto lo podemos omitir, si quieren, simplemente, long story short, se puede decir así, long story short, como para cortar la historia, para terminar la historia, ¿sí? Uh, so, in the... Ajá, uh -huh, sí, esa, esa es la expresión. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, esa es la expresión. Good, thank you. Um, seems quite funny now. Parece muy chistosa ahora. But it didn't at the time, no? Pero no lo era en ese momento. Like, usually, I always say that when I talk about my grandmother. <laughs> like, every time I talk about my grandmother, you know, like, and I tell my friends about her, I, I usually say something like that. Seems quite funny now, but it didn't was at the time, you know? Or, sorry, it didn't at the time, or it wasn't at the time, okay? Any, anyway, it turned out... Terminó bien. Turn out es ese terminar del final de algo, ¿no? 
también como cuando te preguntan, ¿y cómo terminó estudiando tal cosa? How did you turn out studying psychology? How did you turn out uh, working as a teacher, right? ¿Cómo terminó haciendo tal cosa? Es a turn out, también se refiere a eso. ¿Ok? Ok, good. Um, as a reaction, right? If you want to react when somebody's speaking, I'm not surprised. You're joking? I can't imagine, right? Can't imagine is like I can't relate, no? Me imagino, right? How odd. What is the meaning of odd? How odd. Do you know the meaning of odd? How odd. Qué raro, qué extraño, ajá. Uh -huh. What a nightmare. Do you know the meaning of nightmare? Yeah. Sounds awful or sounds terrible. I don't blame, well, terrible and awful, I kind of synonyms, right? I don't blame you. What about this one? No te culpo. Sí, como cuando pasa algo y uno se siente todo mal, porque de pronto, pues no, fue algo tan chévere, ¿no? Y la otra dice, I don't blame you. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, yes. Or, uh, I see what you mean. Entiendo lo que quieres decir, ¿no? I see, o veo lo que quieres decir. Lucky you, muy de buenas. Es como se dice, muy de buenas. Lucky you, oh my God probably one of the most famous prisons all over the world. Were you really? Como, si eras tú esa persona, o estabas ahí, were you really, right? So, what happened? ¿Sí? No puedes estar preguntando eso cuando alguien. And you can't be serious, right? You can't be serious. And then we'll have some questions here. Okay? I'm going to write down some questions that I have here. Mm. So I have a couple of questions for you. Do you like, sorry, do you like stories or anecdotes? What's the best or funniest or um, craziest? Best, funniest, or craziest story you recently heard. You recently heard. Okay. And uh, do you use stories professionally? Do you use stories professionally? Okay. These are my questions for you. Do you like stories or anecdotes? Okay, good. What about the others? Okay. Okay, wonderful. And what about the best, funniest, or craziest story you recently heard? Like, I'm going to give you an example. Or you, you can try it. Who wants to start? That was a funny story. Yes, it was. Definitely was. Yeah. I laughed when I when I heard that first time. Yeah. The craziest story. Well, this is kind of funniest. Funny, sad. Crazy, you know, like Chao El Ocho Funny, you know, like something that you cannot believe. So, uh, that I recently heard was that it wasn't the news, you know, like this. Uh, usually, we, ha we have these um, head, um, headlines, right? Los titulares, the headlines, right? So, that we usually have, and the headline was like, uh, a grandmother 
That was the headline. A grandmother was delivered in the wrong house. So many things that you can imagine when you, you read that, you know, like it was a piece of news and a grandma was delivering the wrong house. So can you imagine how scared she was? I mean, so many things going on. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's sad because I mean, I cannot like, she might have been scared, right? I don't know. Yeah. But it's kind of funny too, yes? Do you use stories professionally? Or you don't? Yes. How do you use them? Yes. Story, yes, tell story. Came or what? What do you mean? Oh, uh, follow, follow, follow. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I love stories. I definitely love them. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is like the part of the anecdote, like the structure that you might use. You don't have to use it, but if you use it, that would be great. Yeah. It, it can give you some order, right? Now we're going to look at some expressions. Sorry, I'm going really fast. Coming up here. Yes. So listen, uh, some of the expressions that we learned, yes, are this one here. Yes. So it's like we use this expression or examples, like I was watching TV when she called. Look at the examples here. I was watching TV when she called. Uh, Hannah? Hannah? No, sé, it's not for Hannah. Okay, so Fernanda, can you read this example? Yes. Uh, the next one here, Gerard, can you help me, please? Yes, okay, Ines. Earthquake. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Nancy. Uh, next, Fernanda, again, please. And um, Ines, go ahead, please. Yes. Entonces, ¿Qué vemos aquí? ¿Qué pasa con ese was watching, was writing, were having, were you doing, was listening, were not listening, was sleeping? Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sí. Pasado, sí, pasado contigo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ¿Y qué nos dicen esas eh, como... Si yo digo, I was watching TV when she called. When the phone rang, she was writing a letter. Uh, I was listening to my iPod so I didn't hear the fire alarm. Como que, que, que vemos estas acciones ahí que están sucediendo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
good. That is a very good uh, analysis. Yes. There are two actions that are happening at the same time. Yes. What was the first action here? What was action number one? What is it? ¿Cuál empezó primero? Which one was the first action? Was watching, yes. Todas estas que dicen was watching, was writing, were having the picnic, listening to my iPod, or were not listening to me, was sleeping last night, was waiting for us, generalmente la mayoría son las que están en progreso, algo las interrumpe, las corta. I was watching TV when she called. Yo estaba viendo televisión cuando entró la llamada, ¿cierto? Eh, cuando sonó el teléfono ella estaba escribiendo una carta, o sea, ya había empezado, está en progreso, ¿cierto? Está sucediendo o estaba sucediendo. Cuando estábamos teniendo el picnic empezó a llover, ¿sí? Entonces esta empezó primero. Generalmente la que, cuando estamos describiendo dos acciones, la que inició primero, the one that started first, is this description. Was watching, was writing, were having, was listening, were not listening, was sleeping. ¿Mm? Mira, while John was sleeping last night, someone stole his car. So what was the action that was in progress here? Yeah, that is the action that was happening, that was the action that was in progress, and this action might have interrupted or happened at one moment when this one was in progress, okay? Good? Mira, what were you doing when the earthquake started? Yes? So, uh, recently in Bogotá, I think it came from... Villavicencio, we had, that is, uh, did you feel that? We didn't have an earthquake, no tuvimos un terremoto, ¿cierto? But we have uh, something that is called, let me, let me look for the word in English, because I cannot find it here. Mm, cannot remember the word either. Let me check it out here. We have like an earth shake. <laughs> yes. I'm going to look for that one here. Yes, uh, quake, uh, we had a quake, probably, quake, quake, um, tremor, yeah, tremor, that is, in, yeah, so we have, a, it's like a slight earthquake, we call it tremor, yes, let's see, we have it here, Tremor. Yes, or quake. Yeah. So recently in Colombia we have this. I'm going to write it down here. Okay. That is a tremor. Yes. Or a slight quake. Yeah. Did you feel the tremor that we had probably a month ago or weeks ago? Yes, it was, right? Yeah, uh, 
uh, it was on August, right? In August 17th, on August 17th. They call it a quake, yes? And Colombia was struck, was struck by a quake on in August, August 17th. Yeah, more than a month, right? So what were you doing when that happened? What were you doing? That is a wonderful question. What were you doing? Doing when the tremor or the quake stroke last August 17th. Generalmente es muy específica. What were you doing when the quake stroke struck? Sorry, struck last August 17th. What were you doing? Cuando el temblor golpeó. You didn't, oh, Nancy was not here in Colombia. Yes. It was in the morning, it was in the morning. No, it was at, at midday. It was like at noon. It was like around twelve. It was a it was a strong one, right? Uh, a lot of people were um, a lot of people were uh, taken out from the buildings, you know. It shakes, uh, I mean, it was like shaked, yes. Like it was a 6.3 magnitude, yeah. I was preparing vegetables, because I was preparing that for lunch, yes. What were you doing? Were you working? Were you studying? And the alarm went, uh, the alarm went on and we have to leave the apartment and we had to, we went down the stairs and we had to go out of the buildings right mm, what about you Ines what were you doing when the quake struck last over 17 no Gerard or Fernanda? Mm -hmm. Dizzy, I felt dizzy. You think that you thought that you were hungry. Okay. Yeah, I felt dizzy and I thought it was, uh, I thought I was hungry or I thought it was because I was hungry, yeah. Oh my God, it was scary, yes? What were you doing, Gerard? Thank you, Fernanda. Mm 
<laughs> yes, of course. Yes, yeah, that is a clever first first thing to do. It is scary, right? Yeah, I was drinking some water in the kitchen. I realized the water was moving, right? Uh, or I saw the waves on the water. And yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Yeah. So many things that um, we can think of, like, were happening, yeah? Okay. Here, okay. Okay, yeah, usually it's something like that, right? Like, we have a real, we uh, we have an interruption, right, uh, of an activity that is going on, that is in progress, you see? So um, that is one, right, when we have an interruption, yes? Uh, so, or when you want to describe something very specific. Cuando queremos describir un momento muy específico también, no? When we have a specific time, we can also use it, yes? Last night at 6 p.m. I was eating dinner. At midnight, we were still driving through the desert. Yesterday at this time, I was sitting at my desk at work. Cuando decimos, hace ocho días hasta ahora, yo estaba haciendo tal cosa, ¿no? So, a week ago, at this time, I was, I was having classes with you. <laughs> okay? So, yes, good. So, when it's very specific, yes, we say, um, like, we say usually this kind of stuff, like, if you want to describe a moment, that is kind of specific, yes? Uh, cuando están sucediendo dos cosas que están en progreso, ¿no? I was studying, yo estaba estudiando y la otra persona estaba haciendo otra cosa. I was studying while he was making dinner. Como que las dos estaban haciendo algo en ese momento. Okay. While Ellen was reading, Tim was watching television. Mientras Ellen estaba leyendo, Tim estaba viendo televisión, ¿cierto? Good. Uh, another example, when you're describing an atmosphere, cuando describimos una, la atmósfera, ¿no? Eh, acuérdense al inicio de la historia decía, it was raining, estaba lloviendo, ¿cierto? Pues para describir como cosas que son importantes de la atmósfera de pronto, ¿ok? Eh, repetition and irritation. <laughs> ¿Ok? Cuando decimos algo que, que, nos, eh, que nos parece irritante. Sí, que, que es repetitivo de alguien. Por ejemplo, she was always coming to class late. Siempre llegaba tarde a clase. He was constantly talking. He annoyed everyone. Él estaba hablando constantemente y molestaba a todo el mundo. I didn't like them because they were always complaining. No me caían bien o no me gustaban porque siempre se estaban quejando. Alguna mmm, actividad que otras personas usualmente hacían, ¿cierto? En algún momento que a uno le molestara, ok, so she was always coming to class late, ok, ok, bueno aquí ya tenemos varios ejemplos de cuando usamos este was doing or were doing, right, we use the were or was and the action, you see, were busily typing, were talking on the phones, the boss was yelling directions, the customers were waiting to be helped, One customer was yelling at the secretary. Um, están describiendo todo lo que estaba pasando, ¿no? Others were complaining, los otros estaban quejando, los otros estaban levantando las manos, ok, so that is to describe the weather as well, good? Ok, so uh, I want you to tell me a short story, try to use some of the expressions that we learned today, ok? You can use some of them. You don't have to use all of them, but some of them, okay? I am going to place them here. Para que las tengan ustedes ahí, si quieren, revisar en el chat.
who wants to tell a short story or a short anecdote. Yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. the anecdote, yes, you can, definitely. Mm -hmm. Sí, la idea es que lo usen, eh, si quieren eh, decirlo el lunes en la última sesión, estaría chévere, ¿cierto? Si quieren contar la anécdota. ¿Ok? Si alguien quiere compartir una hora, chévere. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Yeah? Okay. Any other questions? Gerard, go ahead. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I thought that you had got away, like you got away with that. I thought that you got away with that. Yeah. Get away with that. Yeah. So sorry to hear that. Yes, it was so similar. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, yes. Thank you so much for sharing that anecdote. Uh, remember, like, and to like to follow. Right. We need to follow like the sequence. You said like. When we found them, when we found the class, right, we decided to tell a lie, right? Uh, we said that we had been robbed or that we were robbed. Yes, okay, okay. Good. Any other questions or anybody else who wants to try? Thank you. Yes, you can definitely use these expressions to tell your anecdotes or your stories. Definitivamente pueden usar estas expresiones para decir sus anécdotas o sus historias en los videos. 
Uh, y bueno, pueden tomar el ejemplo del video también que está en el documento que les compartí el lunes. Pueden revisarlo otra vez. Pueden revisar estos ejemplos. Ahora les comparto este documento también. Si quieren ver algunos ejemplos de las expresiones. ¿Ok? Ok, see you on Monday, right? Yes. Okay, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Claro que sí, sí. Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. See you on Monday.